Let's face it, there are times when we need to sit in our workshops to do intricate details. When it comes to finding a place to sit in my shop, I have a Goldilocks and the Three Bears scenario. This one is too short. This one just hurts. The short one plus a bucket didn't turn out so well. But that's not even half of the problem. With as many different bench heights that I have, I need a handful of stools. Let me show you this gear stool I made that works universally to fix this problem. Because skill level vary from woodworker to woodworker, I made two separate sets of shop stool plans. This simplified stool does everything that the more complicated stool does, but is built from a couple 1x4s and a few scraps of plywood. The only stationary power tools you'll need to build this is a bandsaw and a drill press. Under the hood, they both have what I've termed as a gear cradle, which is basically a plate that allows the smaller gears to run in tandem with the larger gear. The larger gear is attached to the seat and slides through the gear cradle. Because the smaller gears are about half the size as the larger gear, spinning the seat top to raise or lower the seat is quick and fun. Next down we have the base. The simpler version uses four boards that are butted up to each other, making a box. Channels are cut in each of the four 1x4s to help protect the 3 8 bolts. Dowels are added in the corners to attach each wall. Finally, a piece of plywood is attached to the top and dowels are added again. The base on the advanced version is two sets of five boards that are glued together using bolts as spacers. Both arms are now cut in the center and will combine to form the X by a half lap joint. Because of the mixed grain direction with the hooks, I added dowels on all four ends. Glue was added, our base is born. Both stools were built with angled legs, which helps to prevent the stool from tipping over. The simple version's legs are easy to cut due to a full-size pattern that comes with the plans. After stacking the 1x4s, you'll simply notch out the center and the ends. To stabilize the legs below, you'll build this simple brace that slides into the center and is attached with dowels. The base is then attached to the legs. I like this simple gear stool project because there aren't any complicated joints. The advanced leg version uses three layers, like the base. At the end of each leg is a hole that will connect to the hooks of the chair top. Once they're lined up, you'll use a one inch dowel for each joint. Gluing the legs together is similar to the base glue up, except we'll use a dowel to make sure both sides of the legs line up correctly. Mapping out the cut lines for this is easy. The legs were then notched out with the bandsaw. Afterwards, I drilled holes in the side of the legs for the cross brace. Before I glue the legs to the hooks, I made a cross brace that fits in the center of the chair. The cross brace was made to emulate the three part legs to give it a similar thickness. It could just as easily be made out of solid lumber. Like the base top, the centers of each arm will be cut and you'll again use a half lap joint to form your X. I clamped the brace to the legs before using the holes I drilled earlier as a template to drill into the base. Now it's easy to add glue to the hooks and dowels before pounding them in. We'll finish this off by adding dowels to the cross brace. I give you an abbreviated version of each stool. If you'd like to see the full build of either one, you'll get a couple videos you can click on at the end of this video, or you can hit the description for the links. There are a couple things not shown here, like adding T-nuts to the base and syncing up the gears that I put in both videos. The advanced tool version also shows adding veneer and stain to the gears, as well as cutting and making the seat with a resin pour finish. If you're interested in either project, I have detailed e-plans for each stool. I also have about two hours of video footage for each project showing step-by-step -step how to put them together. The videos that go with the plans also go into detail showing how to pour the resin for staining and using burl laminates. I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Mark McClooney. He's been so kind to look over some of my work for me and give his channel a view. If you want a chance to win a set of gears, head on over to my Patreon. All Patreons will automatically be added to the drawing. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell, and I thank you so much for being a part of my shop. Please leave a comment below, come find me on Instagram at MakeThingsWithRob, and remember, 
to keep making things.